Hi, Kira and Annabelle. It's lovely to meet you. It's <laughs> lovely to meet you too. So you're both on one of my favourite shows, The Dumping Ground. How did you get involved in the show? Did you watch it before you auditioned? Oh, I was obsessed. So like, uh, when I was younger and I used to go into an audition, they'd say, oh, what's your dream job? And it was always Tracy Beaker yeah. And I'd audition twice for two other characters uh, before getting Jodie. So it was massively exciting. <laughs> Uh, I do you to watch the show and I actually tried to send an email <laughs> at the time with the producer. I wrote this long email to why I should be in the show uh, and I sent it but I didn't know I sent it to the wrong person. They emailed me back saying, hey, try this email address. Oh, and by no. that point, I out. She didn't, she never sent it. So, so there's just some random producer. Three, this, four uh, years later, yeah. I then get an audition. There's a producer somewhere with an email. Like, Hi, I'm Annabelle. <laughs> yeah. I'm 14 and a half. She was like, no, no, this, this is the wrong one. So they, they were really nice about it. And then like, I got an audition anyway. So um, it was you know, fate meant to be. Fate. The universe had it planned out. <laughs> What inspired you to act? Obviously, Annabelle, I know your dad is a well-known actor, so did that kind of influence you to start acting? Well, yeah, I suppose having grown up uh, within this world, I was kind of interested and I just sort of, it was just relatively normal. Like, I'd go to dad's work to see him after school and yeah. it was a film set and it was really magical, really, growing up in that environment, um, particularly Harry Potter. It, it just sort of, yeah, it was really nice to sort of, I'll come home and dad's dressed as a goblin. And then, uh, and then, <laughs> I'll come home and my dad's dressed as a goblin. And then I see him five minutes later and he was dad again. And so, having grown up I knew you were that, a goblin once. Well, yeah, I was interested. Dad then got me and Harrison <laughs> in it at 12, uh, and we were two little goblins there. <laughs> and, but it was only really when I was 16, I thought, you know, I'd like to give this acting a go. I was very big into stories always, like telling stories, listening to stories. Uh, and I was also like a very like natural show off. <laughs> like I was uh, like very much like a show off as a kid. And um, I think I was so much into like listening and telling stories and that sort of thing. And because I was naturally very confident, my head teacher at school kind of suggested it. And yeah, I'd see. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time <laughs> a lot. Like I just happened to turn up places <laughs> and things work out. Well, thank you for talking to me today. And I hope you have a good rest of the day. You too. Thank, Thank you for talking you. to us. Yeah, it's lovely to meet you. Mm -hmm. I know, we're having a lovely so time cool. here. I love your card. Thank you. I love your Can card. Can I hold it upside down? <laughs> Can I hold it? Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's because they put a thing on the uh, back. They put a line. Yours. I know, I've had it upside down. Yeah, yeah, what, look at that. <laughs> so look at that. That's nicer, oh, isn't it? Ah, the head on it.